Hello, Shadow Stars. This is Pidgey, and I am with Sora here. Hello. And today we are here to teach you how to take Project M off the website, download it, and then put it on your SD card, and then set it up on your Wii or Wii U, whatever you have. So, um, just a few things to address first. There are two major important things that you need, which is an SD card, two gigs or less, and it has to be this. You can't use anything like an SDHC card. This doesn't work for some reason. I tried. <laughs> and then a computer with an SD card slot, which if you do not have an SD card slot, you can get an adapter that goes into a USB port, and then you can just use an SD card that way, and we'll read it like a USB stick. But uh, anyways, moving on. To the website website you go to is projectmgame.com slash en slash download which we will put this in the topic when we post it so you don't have to type it in or anything and there are several options right here in this area to download <laughs> basically you want to go with the Wi-Fi safe option and the most current which is January 13th right now Click right here and download it. And once that's done, you have to download right here. Most likely it will be in your download folder. But I just put it right here for ease of access. And oh. all you do is take these, highlight everything, and click extract to right here. And that's if you have WinRAR, which if you don't have that, I'll put a download description, or download in the description, or in the topic, wherever. Also, if you plan on playing in tournaments, we recommend you get the Wi-Fi safe set, or else it won't work at all. Well, the game will work, but playing on Wi-Fi will not work whatsoever. Yes, it will desync. The differences between the two sets are extremely minor though. In the full set, it's easier to do wave dashing and there's stock control and something called C stick buffering, which I don't know what that is. But in the Wi Fi safe set, none of that's there, but you can play on Wi Fi, which is always nice. But you can still wave dash, it's just a little bit harder. Yeah. Not as. Not as. Not as fluent. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Take this. And then find your SD card, which mine is right here, and hit OK. That was put everything on the SD card, which it will take a few minutes. So once that's done, I will start recording again, and then we will go to the Wii and see how that looks. All right. All right, guys, it finally finished. So after that, just go to your SD card, make sure it all went there correctly and everything has to be in their rightful folders and root elf and the background have to be <coughs> on the root of the SD card as always but yeah after that you just take out your SD card and then put it in the week and then and then you're ready from there we will set it up Make sure you don't have any custom stages at all, including the pre-built, or else it will not work at all. But yes, we will show them that. Yes. Alright guys, at this point you just go to your Wii and then start up Brawl. And put your SD card and your Wii or Wii U at this point. And after that you just go to Vaults and go to stage builder and then after that we'll load up from there but like Sora mentioned earlier you do have to delete all the stages before you start it up and there are about three stages that you can't delete sometimes you should be able to just delete them by you know going to delete but those few sometimes you can't so to do that you just go to Nintendo Wi-Fi connection
bit for that. Then go to options, then decline smash service, which I already have declined. But <clears throat> just leave that off at all times so they won't send you in new stages, which I believe they stopped doing that a while ago. So you shouldn't have a problem with it at all. But just in case, that's how you do that. Also, it could take a couple tries to load. Yeah, it doesn't load every time, which is a pain, but if that happens, you just turn off the Wii, unplug it if it froze, and then restart it like normal. But me personally, I haven't had that problem, but Sora and Al or U2 has, so I'm sure... It varies. It varies, yeah. So yeah, from there you just go to startup, and then it starts up the game like normal. But please remember to secure your wrist route to safely contain hype. You have to remember that for every project then. Or else danger will occur. You yes. will get injured. We will bring you to a cliff and then push you off. <laughs> yes, we will. Yeah, that's it, and then it looks like normal. It's all the same. It, all your modes are still there. They don't all work perfectly, but they're there if you need them. Especially subspace and emissary. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah. Everything's there. Classic mode, all star mode. It's all there. Versus. And then, obviously, they changed it to play in line instead of Nintendo Wi Fi connection. But yeah. Does connect like normal, and then you'll still uh, keep all your brawl friend codes from uh, brawl. brawl. Yeah. <laughs> they are out there, and even your uh, brawl taunts and everything are still there. So basically, it does use the brawl file, but just changes it, changes it around a little bit. But yeah, I guess while we're on here, we can show you around a little bit. There's lots of things to be discovered in new Project M game. First off, two new characters from Melee return, such as Mewtwo. And they do have uh, their own sound effects that come from the remote. And Roy, also. And then uh, Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard have their own slot. Along with Zero Suit Samus and Zelda and Sheik, which saves the pain of sitting there and holding R until the game starts. Yes. Which I know we all hated. And then, um, Hikaru is a lot different. All the characters have new and, moves. And a few and others, yeah. A few others do have a few slight changes, but Lucario is probably the most notable, in my opinion. But, uh, and then Mario actually has... Dr. Mario. Yeah, Dr. Mario. Also, if you play as Bowser, you hold down the L button, I think. Oh, yeah. You play the same, you can play as Giga Bowser. <laughs> who is extremely overpowered and cannot be grabbed. Yep. Yeah, that's about all for, for the characters. Um... And then there are a few stages as well. Oh, and if you see this exclamation point, then that means that... It could pod lag in multiplayer battles. Yeah, but... But it probably... Really, yeah, you don't really have to worry about that too much. Yeah, a few new stages are Castlevania, Skyloft, and then... Uh, just uh, Remade stages like training room. training room. Training room. Training room, which is you know, this game's uh, wait stage. Like on brawl, punch the background. Yeah. And then obviously a bunch of stages cha come from melee, and then the first one like Mill Cavern, or 
Or Saffron City Yoshi and Hyrule Island Castle. Island and Saffron City. Even Hyrule Castle, which is awesome. One of my favorite stages ever. But yeah, that's about it. Otherwise, the game pretty much plays like a mixture of Brawl and Melee, in my opinion. The truth. Hopefully, everyone uses this video and signs up for the Project M tournaments we'll be having. Yes, and then hopefully the next time you hear our voice, we will have a podcast up. Hopefully. Hopefully. We can pray. The past few haven't gone so well. <laughs> but yeah, until next time, guys, this is Pidgey and Sora, and we will be saving you later. Adios.